This is where today Spokane's U.S. attorney said he hoped that these two guilty verdicts would not be viewed as an indictment of the entire police department. However, Mike Ormsby did say he wanted officer Carl Thompson locked up inside our jail while he awaits his sentencing. Mike Ormsby says taking Carl Thompson to trial was the only way to settle doubts about what happened that night inside the zip trip and the way the subsequent investigation was handled. But this afternoon, he stopped short of reiterating claims that were made in court that elements of the police department had whitewashed the incident. Fundamental questions about what occurred on March 18th of 2006 have lingered since the incident occurred. The truth and the effect of that truth had to be determined and it now has been. Thompson now faces up to 20 years in prison for his obstruction of justice conviction and 10 years on the excessive force count. Prosecutors won't say what sentence they're seeking, but for depriving Otto Zim of his rights, it's clear the United States intends to deprive Thompson of his freedom. And we'll obviously want to consider and hear the information submitted by uh, Mr. Thompson and by Mr. Oruskovich, his attorney, before we make a recommendation to the court about what sentence we will see. Prosecutors had hoped to have Thompson start serving that sentence today, but the trial judge denied their motion, at least for now. He didn't grant the request. He, however, gave us an avenue to pursue, and we will pursue uh, that avenue. And so now prosecutors may argue because Carl Thompson faces such a long prison term, he is a potential flight risk. And so they're going to ask a magistrate to hold Thompson in jail until his sentencing happens. That won't happen until a pre-sentencing report is completed. And that usually takes 60 to 90 days. Reporting live at the Federal Building, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. Uh, real, real, real quickly, Jeff, what about an appeal for this uh, sentence or this verdict? Well, there's there's absolutely no doubt that he does have the right to appeal, and that's one of the reasons why you didn't see Carl Thompson take a plea agreement. We understand that an offer was made, but that it involved multiple years. Thompson clearly felt that he could beat this thing. He has not, and now it's going to cost him dearly. Carl Thompson is 64. If he even gets the middle range of this sentence, he could die in prison.